Okay, in order to get started to set up all the software on your printer, you're going to need to go through a couple of different steps. First, we're going to need to download the Arduino drivers and software, and this allows you to drive the printer and upload firmware. So you'll open up a browser to do that, and we'll go over that in just a moment. And then the second step will be to download Cura or install another slicing software, uh, and this allows you to slice your model and output that uh, to a G-code file so the printer can read it. So let's start by opening up uh, your, your browser of your choice and just go to arduino.cc and this is the open source Arduino software page um, and about the hardware and all the details there but we're going to go straight to software if you scroll down just a little tiny bit You'll see download the Arduino IDE and this is all the software to drive the printer and uh, also update firmware. We're using Windows and so this installer is probably the simplest way to go but based on what you're going to uh, use on your computer, go ahead and download appropriately. And then you'll get to a page where it says contribute to the Arduino software and feel free to do that in uh, whatever denomination you'd like. For this video we're just going to click download and it will automatically start downloading that uh, file. Now hopefully that doesn't take too long for you to download and as soon as that comes down we will go ahead and click and have that uh, continue. Once that's downloaded you can go into your downloads and go ahead and find where that software is. We've got it set up to automatically open so it'll show that. You'll get a warning from Windows if you're installing in Windows. Go ahead and click Yes. And that'll begin the installation process. And it takes just a couple of minutes, um, depending on your system and what uh, antivirus and other software you have, for it to come up and start the installation. Go ahead and click Agree on the license agreement and then install based on all of the um, standard requests for your installation. And once the software is installed, you also need to install the device drivers for your uh, COM ports and, and printer ports. When the uh, notification comes up, click install and it will begin installing the drivers. Continue as it goes through to click install on each of the different warnings that you get. Now the software is completely installed. You can click close. And you should be able to go down to Windows and find Arduino and open that up in preparation for uploading the firmware. So in preparation for uploading your firmware, you'll need to go and get the most recent firmware. And we're going to get that from reliabuild3d.com. And this will depend on which printer you have, whether it's the RigidBot 2 or the Reliabuild uh, regular or the uh, big. You click on support and docs, and you can see there's quite a few different uh, videos and other things, but as you hover over here there's some firmware links that you can go to. As you click on that if you're um, on an RB3 that's basic you can click here. We're going to actually do a basic big right now. There's RB2 and also some uh, legacy RigidBot1 firmware and there's some instructions here on how to change um, depending on which printer you have. You just comment out and remove some of these uh, slashes depending on what your configuration is. But uh, for our purposes we're going to click here and download uh, firmware for the big. It takes us to a Dropbox um, link. We're going to click in the RBB3 and select this. You want to download all of the Marlin software here. We're going to take that whole folder and bring it down um, to our computer. Then we'll 
show that in the folder and make sure that you don't forget to extract this because it may not automatically extract if you try to upload the firmware from an unextracted library uh, you will not be successful so we click on extract up here and extract all pick a place that you want to go to and I'm going to call this RBB3 for the big. Uh, that way I know which one I'm installing. And I can simply come down to our marlin.ino file and double click that to open up the Arduino file. And then um, after I've done that, I'll need to install the USB cord into the back of the printer and into the uh, computer as well. So if you take a look here, this looks correct. You can see um, multiple different files here under the configuration.h. You can see that we are defined as a rigid big uh, by eliminating the uh, forward slashes that were in front of this. So at this point, I'm gonna plug in the printboard off to the side into the back of the printer. And I am going to turn on the printer and you should hear the USB be recognized uh, on the computer. As you go up to the tools section, this gives us an opportunity to validate that we have the board uh, correctly selected. You'll need to slick, select the get board info if uh, it's not already been selected. So you come down and you choose Mega 2560. Go back up and make sure that the processor shows that we're at the 2560 as well. So once you have the COM port installed it will show up and make sure that you check it um, and click on it because it needs to have the check mark next to it. And as long as you have your library open and everything, all you have to do is click on upload. It'll automatically do the verification, which is this check mark. And it will be sending that new firmware to the printer. This can take a couple of minutes, but as we watch that, you'll see that it's compiling the sketch down here. And then it'll switch to uploading. This green bar will tell you all the details of uh, progress in the sense of how far it has completed. And now we're just waiting for it to upload. Uh, when it's completed, we'll say uh, done uploading. And then the LCD screen on the printer uh, will actually reset and restart. Okay, so now we're done uploading and we can close out of the Arduino software. Um, one of the things that I recommend at that point is to turn off the printer and then unplug the USB. Okay, now that we have step one done, which is installing the Arduino drivers and software and installing uh, the most recent firmware, we need to make sure that we have a slicer for our model. Um, we're not gonna go over model creation that's covered with the different softwares that are out there, but uh, you can use everything from SolidWorks to SketchUp as long as you have their uh, connection to be able to export STL files, but we're going to assume you have a .stl file and we're going to go and download Cura. So open up a browser and simply uh, search, and I recommend using Google for this, uh, Cura. And you can go to Cura.com, but we're specifically searching so that we get this connection right here that says versions. You can use just about any version out there, but uh, for most of our software and for some customizability, we prefer uh, version 15.04.6 um, as of today. So we're gonna click on that, and um, you can go ahead and explain what you're using it for, or select, I don't want to share this information, and simply click download. That'll download and take a minute or two, depending on your uh, download speed. Once that's downloaded, we'll need to go ahead and install it. The installation really just consists of taking the defaults and clicking next, as you'll see here in a moment.
now that we've downloaded this we'll go ahead and open it go ahead and select yes and I go with all the defaults and we'll go ahead and start Cura so that we can do the first initial setup our first time run wizard uh, comes up feel free to select your language as appropriate and then if you take a look at what kind of machine you have this first page does not show um, our settings so we're going to click other and click next and it'll take us to the next set we're based on the rigid bot and this is simply to set up uh, different settings as well as your build area so if you have a regular, you're going to need to select RigidBot or RigidBot Big, which is what we've chosen to do today, and simply click Finish. Once that's finished, then you have Kira completely installed. And in order to set up all of your settings and verify the details here, don't, don't try to print with the standard stuff that comes out. Uh, we have another video on all those details, and that's print calibration.